Have you ever wondered what the top 10 must-visit places in West Africa are? Picture a region bursting with diversity, from vibrant cities to tranquil natural landscapes. West Africa, a tapestry woven with rich history and pulsating culture, is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Imagine the allure of exploring this captivating region, each step a dance with the unexpected, each breath a song of the wild. Now let's embark on a journey to the top 10 must-visit places in West Africa. Starting off our countdown at number 10 is Lagos, Nigeria's bustling metropolis. Lagos brims with an energetic vibe that's hard to ignore. It's a city that hums with activity and thrives on a rhythm all its own. Lagos is a melting pot of cultures, where tradition and modernity exist side by side. The city's rich culture is reflected in its art, music and cuisine, offering a feast for the senses. Imagine the hustle and bustle of its markets, where every transaction is a symphony of negotiation. The vibrant colors of traditional fabrics, the aroma of street food, the symphony of different languages spoken all around, it's an experience unlike any other. And when the sun sets, Lagos doesn't slow down. It comes alive with a pulsating nightlife that rivals any global city. From its energetic dance clubs to its music-filled lounges, Lagos knows how to party. From its pulsating nightlife to its bustling markets, Lagos is a city that never sleeps. Next up at number 9 are the historic slave castles of Cape Coast, Ghana. These haunting relics of the transatlantic slave trade bear witness to a time when human beings were bought and sold like commodities. This was a dark chapter in human history, and these castles served as the last stop on African soil for millions before they were shipped off to foreign lands. Each stone and each chamber of these castles echo with stories of sorrow, despair but also of resistance. They stand as a somber reminder of the inhumanity that we as a species are capable of inflicting upon each other. Yet they also symbolize the unbreakable spirit of those who endured, and their descendants who continue to thrive today. Visiting these sites offers a unique opportunity for education and reflection. It's an experience that invokes deep emotions and compels introspection about the past and its impact on the present. A visit to Cape Coast is a sobering reminder of our shared history and a testament to our collective resilience. Coming in at number 8 is Mount Cameroon, the highest peak in West Africa. This majestic behemoth, standing tall amidst the clouds, is a testament to the unyielding spirit of nature. It's more than just a mountain, it's a journey, a challenge, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Imagine the thrill of climbing to its summit, the air, thin and crisp, filling your lungs as your boots crunch over the rocky terrain. Every step taken is a step closer to the crown of West Africa. It's not easy, but then again, nothing worth having ever is. When you reach the top, the reward is a panorama that can only be described as heavenly. From the peak you can see the world stretch out before you, a beautiful tapestry of land and sea, a sight that makes the journey worthwhile. For those seeking adventure and breathtaking views, Mount Cameroon is a must-visit. At number 7 we have Neokolokoba National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Senegal. This sprawling expanse of wilderness is a trove of biodiversity, teeming with species you won't find anywhere else on the planet. Picture this, majestic lions prowling under the golden sun, elusive leopards napping on the branches of towering trees, and herds of derby elands, West Africa's largest antelope, grazing peacefully in the grasslands. The park's landscape is as diverse as its inhabitants, with savannas, forests, wetlands and hills, painting a stunning tableau of nature's grandeur. For those with a penchant for wildlife photography, Neokolokoba is a canvas waiting to be captured. From thrilling safaris that take you up close with the creatures of the wild, to the serene moments spent under the vast African sky, Neokolokoba is a testament to the raw and untamed beauty of West Africa. For wildlife enthusiasts, Nyokolokoba is a paradise waiting to be explored. Coming in at number 6 is Timbuktu, Mali's historic and cultural hub. A beacon of African civilization, Timbuktu is a city that whispers tales of a glorious past. It's a place where history has left its footprints in the form of ancient mosques and scholarly manuscripts. One cannot talk about Timbuktu without acknowledging its significant contribution to the world of academia. In the golden age of the Mali Empire, the city was a thriving center of learning. The Sankore University, established in the 14th century, was a vibrant hub of intellectual exchange, attracting scholars from far and wide. Today, Timbuktu continues to safeguard its rich heritage in the form of thousands of ancient manuscripts. 
These manuscripts stored in private libraries and public institutions serve as a testament to the city's illustrious past. The city's historic mosques built with earthen architecture are yet another symbol of the city's cultural wealth. The Jingareber Mosque, the Sidi Yahya Mosque and the Sankore Mosque are UNESCO World Heritage Sites, offering a glimpse into the city's architectural grandeur. Timbuktu is a treasure trove of history and culture that offers a window into Africa's past. At number 5 we have Victoria Island, a beautiful and upscale area in Lagos. This island is the beating heart of modern Africa, pulsating with energy and brimming with a lifestyle that is both luxurious and vibrant. Victoria Island is not just about stunning beaches and azure waters, although they certainly add to its allure. This place is a blend of comfort and style, offering world-class amenities that cater to every whim and fancy. From high-end boutiques to state-of-the-art fitness centers, it's got you covered. When the sun goes down, the island comes alive in a whole different way. It's home to some of the city's hottest night spots, where the music is always pumping and the fun never stops. Whether you're looking for a quiet evening or a night of revelry, Victoria Island has something for everyone. Victoria Island is a testament to the luxury and vibrancy of modern Africa. Coming in at number 4 are the mystical voodoo markets of Togo. Nestled in the bustling streets of Lome, these markets offer a fascinating peek into the heart of Togo's spiritual practices. Voodoo, deeply ingrained in the cultural fabric of Togo, is a spiritual system that intertwines the natural and supernatural worlds. The markets are a sensory overload brimming with a wide array of items integral to voodoo rituals. From colorful talismans, potent herbs, alluring amulets to more unusual items such as animal parts, each object holds a unique spiritual significance. Here, voodoo priests offer consultation and guidance, performing rituals that have been passed down through generations. These markets are not just commercial hubs, but sacred spaces where people seek solace, protection, and spiritual guidance. They represent a timeless tradition that continues to thrive in contemporary Togolese society. For those seeking a unique cultural experience, the voodoo markets of Togo are a must-visit. At number 3, we have the secluded beaches of Sierra Leone. These untouched stretches of sand fringed by lush tropical vegetation are a testament to nature's beauty in its purest form. Imagine yourself strolling along the soft sun-warmed sand, the only sound the rhythmic lullaby of waves gently caressing the shore. Sierra Leone's beaches are not just about the sand and surf though, they are sanctuaries of tranquility, far removed from the hustle and bustle of city life. Here you can recline under the shade of a palm tree, a book in hand, and forget about the world. Or perhaps you'd prefer to simply bask in the sun's warmth, the cool sea breeze your only companion. The beaches of Sierra Leone are a world unto themselves offering serenity and relaxation in abundance. They are a place to unwind, to reflect, to revel in the simple pleasures of life. For those seeking a beach getaway, Sierra Leone's beaches are a slice of paradise. Coming in at number 2 is Dakar, the vibrant capital of Senegal. This enchanting city is a symphony of sounds, sights, and experiences that leaves you wanting more. Imagine yourself strolling through the bustling markets, the air rich with the aroma of Senegalese delicacies. The city's energy is palpable, a pulsating rhythm that mirrors the heartbeat of its people. Dakar is a city that effortlessly marries tradition with modernity. It's a place where centuries-old architecture stands proudly alongside sleek modern buildings, a testament to the city's rich history and its bright future. The city's landmarks, like the towering African Renaissance Monument, echo the spirit of resilience and innovation that defines Dakar. This city is also a cultural powerhouse boasting a rich tapestry of music, art and literature that is as diverse as the people who call Dakar home. From its pulsating nightlife to its rich culture, Dakar is a city that's full of life and charm. And finally at number one, we have the awe-inspiring pyramids of Sudan. These architectural marvels, unlike their more famous counterparts in Egypt, are less frequented but no less fascinating. Steeped in history, each pyramid tells a tale of ancient Nubian kings and queens who once ruled this part of the world. These structures are not just piles of stones but symbolic feats of engineering, designed with mathematical precision and constructed with rudimentary tools. Imagine standing in the shadow of these immense structures feeling a sense of awe and wonder as you realize that these were not built in our time but centuries ago. The pyramids of Sudan scattered across the desert in groups create a breathtaking landscape that seems to belong to another world. They are a true testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the ancient Nubian civilization. 
The Pyramids of Sudan are a testament to Africa's rich history and a must-visit for any traveler to West Africa.